Hi everybody, it's Valerie, Valerie Wallace Fine Arts, free drawing classes at 1 o'clock every day. Uh, we're starting on my second month. Super fun. Um, today we're going to do this, this red barn, this big red barn. We did a barn a little while ago and this one is just a little bit more sophisticated. But I will show you how to do it step by step and if you follow along, you will make it and it won't, it won't make you cry at all. You'll just be like elated. It'll make your whole day. You'll, have you'll a super cry with day. happiness. You'll cry with happiness um, and you'll just be so proud of yourself and you will have learned something new today. And you know, it's a little bit tricky, but you will um, get better at it by practicing. Okay? Are we ready? Oh, and it's um, Sunday, um, April 20th. 19th. 19th. Very close. <laughs> 2020. 19th, 2020. So tomorrow it's going to be 20, 2020. It's going to be for 2020. Ah, oh, that's going to be cool because I like 20 and I like um, even numbers. That's one of my things I like. Okay, we're ready? Good? Sure. Ready to go? Daphne okay. says we're ready to go. So we're heading out. Okay. Try not to think about other things. Okay, the first thing we're going to think about is there's a rectangle here. Okay? you can make a rectangle. It's pretty close to the bottom of your page, although there's not a lot that happens up top. But you do want, it, have, it has a big second story triangle, so we do want that. We're gonna start with this line right here. It is to the left of the middle of your paper. So if you make it in the middle of your paper, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble fitting all of this in, okay? So I'm gonna go uh, find the middle. I'm gonna go over this way a little bit. I've got quite a bit of business going on here, so I don't want to go too far. Uh, and I'm going to say, like, right around here, okay? And I'm going to draw myself a line. I am going to use some brown today, and I'm going to add my red on there later. The brown is going to blend into, like, the dirt. It can blend into the green for the trees so that it's just something that um, will be nice if, um, if I have lines where I don't want them, which we might have, okay? Um... The next thing you're going to do, we want to make a rectangle. So you want to go as tall as this line, you want to go over even farther. So we're going to want it for the rectangle. If you make a square barn, that's okay, but you can't fit as much stuff in it. Okay? Then you're going to make a line like here. Okay? Right now, these two lines are even. Okay? Go across the top. Like that. Okay? Now, because this this, how, this barn is in, has a little bit of perspective to it, and because we're seeing two sides, the side and the front of it, um, we need to sh we need to modify things a little bit. We need a little bit of tilt here and there. So what you're going to do is take this line, the first one that you did, and you're going to make that just a teeny bit longer. Okay? Let me do this in charcoal down below. So this, obviously this will be quite a bit smaller. It's going to be right around here. I'm going to go over a little bit, I'm going to draw the line across the top, and then I'm going to make this one just a little bit longer. Is it, does it look longer to you? No. Not at all? Oh gosh, barely. Barely, barely it does, but I don't want it very much. If you make it a lot, you're going to, you're going to find that it's um, more apt to look a little wonky, okay? It could be an old barn that's about ready to fall down and then, you know, defies the rules of perspective. Okay? Mm. All right. You're going to connect from here to here. All right? And then you're going to take that line in whatever direction you're going in, you're going to connect, continue it on. Okay? That's going to be for the little um, pig, pig pen over there or whatever it is. You think it's a pig pen? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're going to make a line right about here that's about half as tall as this one, maybe. And then you're going to slant the roof so the rain falls off and the snow. Okay? So make sure this one is a little bit longer. Not a lot, but a little bit. You'll be surprised. It'll give a little tilt. You'll see the tilt even if it doesn't look much different. Okay? And that one's pretty tilty. Oh! Yeah, all right, um, maybe tiltier than I want. So what I'll do is I'll just bring it up this way a little bit. This is, thing is in the way. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
that's going to be ground instead. See how easy that is to fix that little mistake? No big deal. So I'm coming here instead. Okay? All right. The roof, the, the front here is just a big triangle. Okay? If you're not sure, um, well, that's even taller. But probably if you took this side here and you held it up here, that might give you an idea how to, because because obviously, ch chances are the lower story and the second story are roughly the same size. So if you use this line and say that's about where I want the peak of my roof to be, you're gonna find about the middle and you're gonna go up and you're gonna make that dot, okay? And then I want you to connect that to here and connect it to here. I, I ask you to try to convince me that this is too hard, because it's not hard. This isn't hard, right? Mm -mm. It's not hard. It's not hard. You can do it. Everybody can do it. So, and it's going to look wicked cool. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to find the spot up top. I'm going to make my triangle here, my triangle here. Okay? All right, we've done this, right? We're just working over here. Okay? Okay. What you're going to do next is you're going to take this line that we made on the top of our little rectangle here. You're going to take that line and you're going to continue it over this way. Just keep it going horizontal. Okay? And you're just, you're, that's here. Okay? So you have to decide how long that line is going to be. Um... Don't make it too short because this is a big deep barn. So probably better to be a little bit on the longer side, okay? All right. If you haven't noticed already, it's the top of the roof that slants down, okay? This is basically horizontal, and we're going to say this is basically horizontal too when we get to that part. Um, we're going to do the roof, okay? If you didn't, um, if you happen to do the little cottage with a red roof, we just sort of went through this. This is not, maybe, it might not be a guarantee to work just right, but this is a pretty good idea. If you have this line that's pretty long, I want you to go over about three quarters of the way, two thirds of the way on that line, okay? From there, I want you to go straight up, and I want you to make me a dot, and this dot has to be lower than the peak of this roof. It can be... It can be just a tiny bit lower, or maybe like this, but not, I mean, you don't want it down here, okay? If you do, if you, when we draw the line to connect, if it, if you look at it and say, mm, this is not it, just adjust it. I wish I was there with you to be able to help you to adjust it, but um, we can color the roof in black. No one will ever know that you had to change it, okay? So what you're doing is you're going to go from the peak of this roof. You just want this to slant down a little bit, but you don't want it to go as far. You don't want it over here. It has to be shorter. This distance right here, this distance is basically the same as this distance. All right. Actually, maybe that's how I should be doing it. I never thought about that. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe that Like a parallelogram. Work. It is... Yes, Not quite. but I don't know if it always is. Depending on the peak of the roof, it could be different. So I'm not sure. Well, anyway, we're going to go here. I'll have to think about that. I think it would always be the same way. Okay. Yeah, so when in doubt, I mean, I, my line here is a little bit longer than this one here. I'll just make this one a little bit longer. And that should, what we want is the slope of this to be the same thing here. Okay? So try doing that. See, that's not quite right, though. Right? It needs to come out this way a little more. Yeah. Looks okay? Good. Yep. So, tr so hold it, draw that much of it, and then hold it up in front of yourself. And if you can live with it, it's fine. It doesn't have, like, it's, like I said, it could be a little wonky, you know, from age. But if it's way off, Check to make sure that this line tilts down. Some, a lot of times people accidentally have it going up. Okay, so just make sure this tilts down. Make sure this one is all one continuous line. 
and you want these to be parallel. If you don't know what parallel means, it means they're like this, that they will never meet if they go on and on and on and on and on forever. But if it's not parallel, one of them is going to be like, well, like say one of them tilts like this, and the other one, you know, um, tilts too much or whatever, and they're going to run into each other. Is that the description? Yeah, for, that's, that's pretty will good. Will that Im impress the um, geometry teachers? Probably not. Okay. We're good enough with that. That will come. In reality, you can take a ruler, a straight edge, and you can set up the perspective. The problem with that is that the um, focal points for my horizon line, which is basically here, because this is the straight line, um, if I had to con connect to them, it would be like when I do this slant, I mean, it would be out here. Like the focal point is going to be off, you know, out of your sight. So, you know, you can't draw that. So you have to sort of learn to, like, estimate it, okay? Unless you're going to make something very, very small, all right? Okay, carry on. All right, so the next thing you're going to do, we have this little, um, uh, what do you call that? Place where you put your hay or something out of the rain? Uh, an overhang? An overhang, okay, great. You're going to take this. An awning? Is that what oh, an called? awning, yes. And we want this to be pretty... We want it big enough to be able to get underneath there. Maybe put your tractor under there. So take this line and don't make it too short. Bring it, bring it down a ways, okay? And then you're going to take this one and you're just going to cont cont continue that one too. And we're going to make this a, a horizontal line, okay? It's close enough to our horizon line that visually it works like that, okay? If anything, it would be longer here. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this line that we did right in the bottom of your barn, you're going to con continue that one on. Why don't you continue that right off the page like this? Is that going right? There's that, and then actually, you know what, I'm going to do the same thing with this one, because that's where we're going to put our fence. So we're going to use that line for the fence. Okay? You're going to drop from here, you want a, a post that holds this up. So you're going to drop a line right straight down like this. Okay? Now, the only other thing you're going to have to eyeball is that you also have a post from here that's holding this up. But this post is not as long as this one. Okay? If you make it as long, well, I don't know, maybe it's as long. Oh, actually, yeah, no, maybe that'll work. <laughs> you just don't want to come down to this line is what I'm saying. But you could probably use the same thing. So you could measure that one, mark that, and there's your... I don't think of this before. Okay? Now the other thing you have to do is there's there's the we're missing the barn back there. I wonder if I can do the same thing. If I measure this line and I hold it right there, that'll work pretty well. Okay? The very first line that you did, measure that. You're gonna bring that to the edge of the roof so it's from here and it's going to go to out here what you're what's going to happen is you're going to have this you're going to have a little this line is going to be shorter than that one and what would happen is it would go to here see it oh i didn't forgot all about this one okay so down over here you take this so you continue it on you um Let's see, what did I do? Um, oh, I don't know what I did, I can't remember anymore. Okay, we're gonna continue these on. We're gonna make that a horizontal line. We're gonna take this one, we're gonna continue this on all the way to the edge, and all the way to the edge here. Okay, you're going to drop this right straight down all the way to here. This one's going to be shorter. And you know what? If you flub up this area, what we'll do is we'll cover it up with trees so no one will ever know. Okay? All right. Sound good? So oh, is that floppy? I don't know. I like it. <clears throat> it's got a little lean to the posts. Yeah. Gives it character. Right. Again, like I said, it could fall over. Okay, so this is the thing. If you really don't like what happened here, 
Well, we're going to put a tree in here, and you just make a big tree. Just a big tree that covers it all up. And to make your tree bigger, you're going to have to set it out here lower to the page. Okay, that will make a difference. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to do that now. I want to have this tree saved. I'm just going to go over this line right here because that kind of makes sense to me. And I'm going to make a nice trunk. And it's going to be tall and skinny. Okay. And then notice that, I mean, trees can be in all shapes, but this one is, you know, pretty, the, li the lines are just going up and then there's a little crown that up, goes off the top of the page. Don't make your tree like this and make the crown of the tree, it looks like a Q-tip. It's huge, okay? The size of the crown of a tree versus the size of the trunk is just so, so big, okay? So, um... You can take this and you can branch this up a little bit. Just whatever your branches do, if they go up, that makes sense. And then you can bring that crown right up off the top of the page, kind of like that. Okay? All right. I want to throw in a little bit of background. We're going to come back and we'll finish up the barn with the details. Okay? Sound good? So grab something you want to use for your sky. I'm going to use a little bit of um, light blue, I guess. Um, we're gonna divide, we're gonna stop where these trees hit uh, hit the sky. So that's gonna be maybe around. I wouldn't go right to the top. I go like here maybe. Okay. If you put uh, some clouds in the sky, you don't need to color it all in. I'm just gonna hint in there a little bit of blue. I don't want to get have you get too tired of coloring stuff in before we finish the barn. So spreading this brown. Got a little gray. That makes a little brown, a little blue, make things a little gray. You got a little stormy sky going on. Mm. Maybe I'll put a couple of patches of blue where my branches are, my tree, and that will make sense because they're not everything, every teen, every s square inch of every branch is covered with leaves. They're kind of in clumps. Okay? All right, I'm going to take a, a darker green, maybe a couple of darker greens to do, um, to, eh, not super dark, and I'm going to do this, um, the trees that are in the back. The, the, the skinnier I make this stripe that's the trees, the farther away they're going to look. So I'm going to make them a little bit smaller than they are in the picture, and that will let you kind of see how that makes the pasture seem a little bit bigger back there. How'd you like how I use that word, pasture? Pasture? Yeah. I like it. That's a barn word. Yep. The vocab. Yep. It's great. If anything, it's going to be a little darker, denser down near the bottom. And I can make kind of a, a roundish top along there, or I can bring that up and down a little bit here and there, and that'll look a little bit like fir trees poking up out there. Ooh, I like we fir have trees. That around here. Okay. There we go, and I'm going to use all my greens today. I've got two more to use. I'm going to put a little um, light green in my tree up here. If my brown mixes in with my green, it just makes kind of a darker shade of green, so that's all fine. Okay? Kind of like that. Where's my thing? Here it is. All right. So down here, I'm going to put my tree in. <laughs> there we go. Well, if you're inside watching the show, um, watching the show today, thank you. Um, I know it's very nice here in Maine today, and it's, in case you didn't know, it's not going to stay this way. <laughs> so. Is this supposed to be bad weather soon? Yeah, it's going to rain again. Fun. Unless you don't consider rain bad weather, then I guess, you know, maybe then you're super happy. You're like, yay, I love rain. But I think most everybody these days wants at least some sun sunny blue, sunny, yeah, nice, bright. Gloomy gray weather is not going to be great for everybody. We need a little more than that. Okay. Put a little... Oh, 
folks up there. I think uh, one of the other things I want to do too is a little uh, Mount Katahdin. Oh. Right from where we went. Well, to, um, the the view. The view yeah. from I ninety five. Yeah. Because everybody can really do it. It's really pretty. Really pretty easy. Um. There we go. There's my sky. And all right, so I'm going to take kind of a yellowish green from my new um, grass going on. Where's my um? Oh, oh well, that's all right. Okay. When I'm doing the field part, I'm going to try to go more side to side. When I do the trees, I want to go more up and down. If I color over the edge of my barn, that's okay because it's the gold will just blend into that red. Okay, I'm going to use a little of that, maybe a little of this. Oh, that's too dark. I'm going to use the light one. I got all the good ones right now. You want some? I'm using the other ones. You are? Okay. Because I know you have them. <laughs> but maybe I'll I have a monopoly on all of them. I, do well, like I don't need the them anymore. Ones. Now I've kind of used them some, but okay. I want to keep this grass bright. All right, now one of the places, I'll remind you, but one of the places that you need to show the grass is this little section here. Because this is like the overhang and then there's a post holding it up, but this is the, you know, you would see the, the lawn through that. And this would actually be lawn down here too, but this might be a little shadier. Okay, does that make sense? Can you see it? Yep. Okay. So my, you know, um, we're going to do a little bit of shading or whatever, so I might make my lawn here a little greener. Um, so I think that mostly the barnyard has a lot of activity going on, and so it has a lot of mud out in the front yard. So I'm going to do that brown rather than, um, rather than green because that would only be at fancy stables and stuff where they might have green grass and pavers and stuff like that right in front of their barn, right? Yeah, maybe a barn that's just for weddings or whatever. It's not like that at the Skywalk Stables or whatever it's called, right? What's the Skywalk Stables? Isn't that the one where you went and had um, riding lessons? I think or I know whatever. the name of it. I just remember that they have cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns? Yeah. When you, horses? When you didn't get to ride the horses. Well, you remember, got to eat cinnamon buns? Yeah, yeah, they had cinnamon buns and Slim Jims, but I didn't like Slim Jims. <laughs> if you can believe. Well, there you go. Um, and they also had... Horses? Horses, and they also did not have a fancy driveway. No. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to put some... How are we doing? I'm doing good. You're doing good? Okay. I little, wish that I'm I, a little far behind, but... Uh, I wish that I could um, see if anybody needed help with their barn, but... I guess you can show me and I'll, I'll tell you later or you'll get it. You'll get it. It's hard. I mean, it's not hard. <laughs> I don't know. Some some things, you it, you just your we're our eye is so tuned in that we see anything that's just a little bit wrong, but you might not know what it is. So I mean, if you covered up different parts, you'd be like it would help you to zero in on like wait a minute, that's the part that I don't like. And I, what I would do is just cover it up with trees, or um, you could always just cut that part off with your with your scissors. <laughs> not right? if it's in the middle. It's not in the middle. The middle part was the easy part. Okay. I know it was. It was, for sure. Okay. Are we ready to do finish the barn up? Let's get this thing going? Sure. Are you ready? I mean, no, but that's okay. Okay. What I want is, before I do the bright red, I'm going to do a few little things with darker brown or a darker red. So, like, if you have a maroon, that's good. Um, maybe I'll just stick with that. Where's that brown I was using? Do you have it now? No. That? Bump. That? 
This one, yeah. It's on a black table, so hard to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have this little line here, which, you know, makes sense in a way because probably this was added on. So it's okay if there's a line there. Um, I'm going to, you know, to, to make it kind of simple, I'm just going to fill this in with this color. Okay. Um, pick whatever color you want your barn roof to be, right? Yeah, purple barn. You know, yeah, purple would be great. Sometimes green. The one thing probably won't work great is white. Okay. Um, you know, I might even take this reddish brown and in the other direction a little bit. And that'll help blend in that little line. So it's not such a big deal. There we go. Okay, this is one thing I want you to do is grab something lighter. Maybe white, maybe... A light gray um, or yellow or well probably not yellow but something light and I want you to go over this is if you're using color if you go over your tree trunk a little bit it'll stand out in front of everything and that's what we want we want that to be in the front yard okay and that will help it because in a lot of cases you know bark is not as brown as you think it is it's really a lot lot more likely to be kind of gray okay um, we want to do the door. So we want a nice big door. And in this case, what happened is the door has swung inside and there's um, a shadow um, because it's super dark inside. Okay, so and it's not hard to do. What I'd like you to do is give me two um, nice tall, spread them out, okay, because you want a nice big huge door so you can get the tractor in there. Try to get these relatively straight up and down. Okay, so you're going to get pretty close to the this line we drew before and you're going to go across that okay now what you do to make that shadow in there is first this is the floor of the barn okay so you're going to start at the corner and it doesn't really matter the the steeper if you get it really steep you'll have to show the door so don't, what I would do is aim kind of down here aim on the low part here and so you'll just have cut off kind of a little triangle like this Okay, so this turns out to be the floor of the barn. All right, so maybe I'll put, I got another brown here. This will be the, a different color like that. Okay. Um, but because the door is opening inside to the barn, it's, it's getting a shadow from the, the door opening. And all you have to do with that is just draw a line from this corner. It doesn't even really matter where you do it because the sun's moving all the time, so it could be in different places. But if, if you want to go like this, just sort of draw a line like this, and then you know color it with a maroon or a brown or a dark blue or something like that. And when we do the red, we'll color over it, and it will look like it's in shadow. It will look like it's in shadow, when you, especially when you step back. It might not seem so much like it when you're up close. Um, the other place where we kind of have a shadow is, is underneath the, this little overhang. So what you do with that is you just draw here and you just go right across, okay? And you're gonna fill that in. I'll do this part down here so um, so you can see where that is if, if, if you forget. So there's two lines, two upright posts, and go right across the top of that, all right? You're gonna cut off kind of a little sliver of a triangle on the bottom, okay? And that's gonna connect um, the bottom right hand corner of this door and then it's going to go up a little bit and then what I'm going to do is cut off this piece for the shadow not too dark just yet anyway all right I'm going to put that in shadow here Now, some days you may not feel like drawing maybe you don't want to get all your stuff out but sometimes it's just kind of a soothing thing to just watch something you know grow right in front of you so you know you can always do that or you know it might you watch it and then maybe it'll make it easier if you want to go try it later you can always watch them at another time on um, they're all on my Facebook page which is doing funny things these days so um, but you can find them you might not be able to find exactly the one you well maybe if you search it I don't but How do you find the, them on? 
the better way to do it is to go to um, to um, YouTube and it's free drawing classes with Valerie Wallace Fine Arts and I said it right that time mm -hmm. and uh, you can see all of them there and there's the picture of what they are so you can just pick them right out the one from the with the lines a little wonky because we had a problem during that thing okay um, I want to do the windows and that little door maybe in black. Let's do this door. Let's have it have a door. So what I want you to do is draw me the two lines here. Hopefully this is, makes sense for this to be tall enough for somebody to get in there. And you can... Um, well, maybe it's just tall enough for the pigs. Well, somebody's got to get in there. and the people get in from the bar. Or so. Do they? I don't know. They kind of have that that you made. Well, one. I think really if you're a person. I mean, you might... You might have to duck your head, but I think you can get in there. Yeah. You can get in. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do it like this. Grab your red, okay? And you're going to take, do your two windows. I would do two tall windows like this. This is a great color. It's delish. This. Okay? And, because what we're going to do is trim it out with some um, black afterwards. Um, okay. When I color in this door, like I said, I'll just go right over the brown. And that will make it look like a shadow. Or, or dark blue, like I said, or whatever you down there. Okay. Again, you don't really have to have it like outlined in the brown. You can kind of just go over those browns and yeah. The other one had the white trim on it, and that's a little tricky because you have to leave the white spaces. But this one we're gonna use a little black instead. save the windows first then you don't have to try to color that black over your color over your red which would still work if you forget so it would be a little work still okay there's that here you know one of the best things you can do with your picture when you're done or when you think you're almost done, but you haven't quite put your name on it, is, um, you know, let, tape it up to the wall across the room, lean it up there, get six, six, ten feet away from it. And that way, if something is really wonky, you can probably figure out what it is and fix it. And you'll also realize that a lot of the little stuff don't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Little stuff, little stuff don't little, little things, stuff don't. little, little things, things don't matter. Don't matter. And then you know, when you, in something that that clearly is like an issue, that you'll be able to see it. But you know, I have never ever had somebody put their picture across the room or or set it away at a distance, and not liked it more. And I have I'm had that experience hundreds and hundreds of times. The only ones who never care are the kids. They're like, yeah, I don't care. I love it. It's awesome. So do, would you, is there anything here that you might like to change? No, I love it. <laughs> How about putting legs on your person? Oh, oh yeah, all right, I could put some legs on. <laughs> How about a head on this dog? Oh, yeah, maybe that. But, you know, only if you suggest it, otherwise I don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna get my black. Can I have your red? Thanks. You can have my red. All right. Delicious red. It's a really nice red, yes. Okay, I am gonna give this door a nice black trim, like this. I don't need to go along the bottom of it, okay? Because then it would mean I had a little wood there and that my tractor would go, have to drive over that and it would probably break. Wait, not my tractor, but the wood, okay? So don't do that, just go there. Make sure you, bring the black right to where the shadows are because that's where it's going to go right dark to 
to the dark. Okay? Um, and then I'm going to do inside this door because in the daytime, when you look at windows, they look black. Sometimes you can see the curtains reflecting because the sun shows, makes them show, but otherwise everything inside there. So if you're in your, you know, if you're changing your clothes in your room in the daytime, nobody can see you if you're like back in the room. But at nighttime, when you put your window, your lights on, then sounds very creepy. your neighbors can see you. So be vigilant or be mind, mindful. mindful. Lucky neighbors. <laughs> Well, not necessarily. I guess. This is something hor horrific. Nah. <laughs> Lucky Melba. I couldn't remember that when I, at all when I was like a teenager. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. My mother would say, shut the window. <laughs> like, what? All right. I got my two eyes on there. Got a big mouth. All right. I'm going to trim out the, the roof. So I'm going to go right along this line here all the way down to my overhang, my awning. I'm gonna trim that out too. Don't go through the tree if you can, because that's gonna mess you up. That's gonna mean the tree is in the backyard instead of in the front yard, and it doesn't make sense. I might make this just a skinny little line on here. No, I probably shouldn't or the roof either. Okay, this one too. And this one could go a little bit longer one on the right side and then you cut back towards the cabin and you fill that little triangle in. That looks good. Oh yeah, on the top of this. All right. Oh, I guess I'm going to do it here. Okay. If you would like to leave a donation, um, you can do that on my webpage under tickets, ValerieWallsFineArts.com. And you can leave as little as a dollar, and then I know you're out there listening, and it's just, or as much as a dollar, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's a, what do you think, Tim? I like it. You did do it in 40 minutes. I don't know if I could have. I did. You were you could have done it. You were concerned about the time? No, I'm still storm clean up. We've done this one in, in the an adult painting class one time <laughs> but it had I think it had the dormers on it that I cut off because like that was just I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> what does that mean? Those little window things they were up on the roof. Oh right. We talked yeah, no, about I, that. I uh, yeah, you always. I find the pictures online in a lot of cases. Sometimes I take my own pictures. Sometimes I put make my own background and use something else, or I take parts of it out. Whenever I can, I want to give credit not to the person who did it in the first place. But it's not always as easy as you'd like it to be. But if somebody sees that they know who did the artist that originally did the picture, please let me know and I'll post it right on there. Um, okay, there's one more thing that I forgot about that I really want to do, and that's the little fence that runs along the edges, okay? Um, maybe I'll just do this and... Uh, I'm going to do it in the brown. Did you have that dark brown? Yeah, this one? Give it to me. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so this... We're running the fence. It makes sense for it to be you know, lined up with the house, okay? So right here, what you're going to do is... Um, or is that black what I gave you? This is black right... Oh, oh. this black right there. So hmm, this fence, this one has crisscrosses. In the other picture, it's like a bunch of, like maybe four horizontal pieces. Um... I think that's the, I don't know what, maybe, maybe so the pigs don't slither underneath it or something. Slither? <laughs> Slithering pigs. I, I'm Sounds like do a it nightmare. Like <laughs> Slithering pigs. Yeah. Sounds like a band name. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they have that lowest piece right in the mud. 
Because whatever's in there wants to slither out. <laughs> <laughs> Not always. I mean, a horse isn't going to slither out. No, they just hop over that fence. I had a dog. What dog? Maud. Oh. And um, she kept sneaking out of like a um, chain link fence. And I... When did you have a chain link fence? Oh, some apartment I lived in. Oh. And I was like, how is she getting out there? Maud. And there was just this teeny space. And it was, the dirt had been dug out underneath. And I thought, how could she possibly? Because, you know, you, it went down, and Jim, she wasn't a big dog. But what I caught her slithering under there, and what she did is not go, like, tummy, like, she this way under. Side. She just threw herself down on the side, <laughs> stuck her head in there, did a couple of paws like that, and was poof, right through it. Maud, she's so naughty. I've never seen a dog slither sideways like that, but she had it all figured out. But she was crafty, for sure. For sure, for sure. She wanted out. Yeah, she was always running away, going to live at other people's houses. And I was a good dog owner. I don't know why. It wasn't me. It wasn't you me. saved her. I did. I saved her from... Oh, yeah, it's a long story. But I definitely <laughs> saved that dog, and she was always looking for something better. The last thing you could do, too, is you could put a little, um, you know, weeds growing up around the edges here. We could put a farmer and his whole entire family and a horse and a tractor, but we're not going to because um, that would be asking for trouble. Okay, I'm going to do my fence here again, so I'm going to make... I got room to make these lines a little bit more. The slithering pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stage. The slithering pigs. <laughs> and headlining tonight at the Alamo... The slithering pigs! Wah! And the crowd goes wild. I don't know if the crowd goes wild for the slithering pigs. I think so. Well, that's a good idea, too. How about that? You like that? Okay, I'm good, I'm good. All what right, I'm good. Do? Thank you. Um, oh, jeez. And thanks for joining me. And um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do... Oh, I'll get it for you. That was so fun. Something totally different from what we did today. A fun, colorful seed horse. You're going to get to do this any way you want. I will show you the barn, and we'll call it good for today. Hey, Natalie. Cam, oh, Cam Robin, Donna, family, Earlene, and Veronica, and my mother. Very nice. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Enjoy the day.